I am going to introduce the Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP conversion of BL10 series IoT gateway. There are some devices that are Modbus RTU, but the gateway of the local area network or the host computer use Modbus TCP to get data from slave, so the function of protocol conversion is required. Open the configuration software. Because the computer is directly connected to the LAN port of the device now, then we need to set the RTU to TCP network port as the LAN port. Click search and searching for the IP address of the device. Enter the password to log in. Double click the COM port. The current mode is R2 to TCP. Here are parameters of serial port. The parameters should be the same as the parameters of the slave. Check data services. Double click Modbus RTU to TCP. Here are options of COM ports, but we are connecting to BL102 now, and BL102 only has one serial port so there is no other options. TCP mode is TCP server, and network interface is LAN, and the port of Ethernet port. Now we need to set the parameters of the slave. The slave needs to connect to our device by RS485 serial port. The slave ID can be 2 or 1. As long as the ID of the host computer and the slave are the same, function code choose 03, address start from 0, 10 register addresses. Select serial port connection and the corresponding serial port. The serial port parameters here should be the same as our serial port parameters. Let's check the parameters, baud rate, stop bit, data bit, and parity bit. All the parameters are the same. We can add the value of each address. Because our device is connected with the LAN port, the IP address is 3.1, and the port is 5000, we can connect to the host computer or the master station software through the TCP link. Choose Modbus TCP connection. Enter the IP address and server port. There is an error exit. Let's find out what caused it. The ID is wrong, change the ID to 2, because the slave ID is 2, the access is success after I change the slave ID. Please notice that there are 10 register address values of the slave. The quantities of registers collected by master must be less than or equal to 10. We can look at the message. 
Here is the TCP message. For example, the six groups from 00 to 06 are the sequence number of the message, and the following numbers from 02 to 05 are the Modbus TCP instructions. Turning to the slave, it becomes the command of RTU, numbers from 02 to 05 plus the CRT check. So the operation of converting Modbus RTU to TCP is completed. You can add the quantities according to your needs. And also it can send command. The Modbus pull software is the master, and the value can be changed. Change the value here, then the value it collects will also change. Baylai Technology established in 2005. Customers in more than 190 countries and regions. Specializes in designing and manufacturing industrial IoT gateways, edge computing gateways, industrial I.O. module, 4G industrial routers, TC. Making IoT and automation easier.